hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to sensors and transducers in the previous videos we discussed torque measurement with the help of different uh, devices different instruments in the next uh, series of videos we'll be focusing on measurement of density okay mass per unit volume of uh, fluids especially liquids and gases we will be focusing on that so this method uh, is the load cells method of density measurement so uh, density as we know it is uh, two types mass density which is the mass per unit volume of a substance solid liquid or gas weight density is the weight force per unit volume that is when it is multiplied with acceleration due to gravity mg so density measurement is uh, very important whether it is uh, for solids liquids and gases now there are different uh, reasons any uh, especially in the, in the in, in in industries whether it's food processing or any other products uh, the density is a very important parameter and uh, particularly for solids it is very important uh, uh, actually it's uh, sorry it's very difficult to carry out the density measurement it is very different uh, it is very difficult for uh, density measurement in solids but in case of fluids liquids and gases there are several techniques that are available by which we can uh, will not say it will we cannot say that it's easy but comparatively it is uh, you know uh, easier to carry out the measurements of density for liquids and gases but for solids it is very 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 difficult and especially in cases where they are continuously in movement from one place to another in all the cases whether it's fluids or solids they are in movement but in case of solids it is very difficult so load cells we have already discussed uh, you know i have made a video related to load cell that uh, they are mechanical uh, instruments their devices which are used for the measurement of weight okay of uh, static bodies stationary bodies or very slowly moving bodies okay and basically the whole uh, uh, principle of load cell is that uh, it has a platform onto which the object it is kept it is placed there and then uh, it, the the weight or the weight force acting on it that is measured or in in some cases there is a, a you know hooks are available where it can be hanged okay so that uh, the weight measurements can be done especially uh, uh, especially uh, for uh, industrial purposes this is very important so there are two types of load cells column type and proving ring type i have made separate videos on these two so i would recommend you to please watch those two videos column type load cell and proving ring type load cell where i have discussed so this is a, a basic column type load cell it is combined with strain gauges to measure uh, the expansion and compression occurring on it because of the applied force and then this is the proving ring type load cell again same principle strain gauges applied at extreme ends and when force is applied they undergo compression and expansion and as a result of that there is a change in resistance because strain gauges they operate on pierce resistive effect and then suitable signal conditioning has to be done to give us a proper output so this is about load cells i am not discussing it in detail the load cells because i have made separate videos on proving ring type load cell column type load cell and also on strain gauges okay i have made separate videos so please watch those videos now 
density measurement using load cell. So the whole process here, it involves the fluid which is in movement. It is captured or it is uh, contained in a container of fixed volume. Here the important point is that the volume of the fluid in the container it has to be fixed, constant. That is very, very, very important. Why? You will see. So here we have a fluid, liquid or gas, whatever it is, which is under measurement. We have to measure the density of that fluid. So it is through a pipe or any other arrangement, it is contained in this tank or container, which is a fixed volume. It is always maintained at a fixed volume, at a fixed level with the help of level measurement, level sensors. So if it is maintained at a constant level, it means the volume is fixed. Then load cells are present at the bottom of the tank. The tank is placed on the load cell. Now the weight force because of the tank filled with constant volume of the fluid that determines the density. Another important thing, the rate of inflow or the intake of fluids into the tank is maintained with respect to the outflow so that the volume is undisturbed. The volume is always fixed. The level is always fixed. Again, level sensors are used so that the level is always maintained at a fixed level. Okay, only then the volume can be maintained. Okay, so because of this fluid filled in the tank, weight force because of it acts on the load cells and the load cell measures that force, that weight force and that is given by F is equal to the weight W which is equal to mass into acceleration due to gravity and mass here is density multiplied with volume. Density here rho is density of the fluid. Density of the fluid. Now here volume capital V is fixed, G is fixed. Okay, as I said, level is always means maintained at a constant point. So volume is fixed. I said volume of the tank, volume of fluid in the tank has to be maintained constant. So the weight force, it depends on the density of the fluid, volume and acceleration due to gravity. Small g is fixed, volume is fixed. The only thing which, 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 which controls the weight force is density rho of the fluid. So as V and G are fixed, weight force is controlled by the density of the fluid. So rho here is equal to F by Vg. It can be directly calibrated in terms of that so that the readout which we get at the output after signal conditioning, it gives us directly the density. It is calibrated in the form of that. So proper signal conditioning circuitry has to be used. Uh, before that, we have to use proper signal conditioning, processing, amplification of the signal, proper signal calibration, then other, uh, other processes it has to be carried out, noise cancellation, linearization, amplification, uh, all those things. Then if we want a digital readout, analog to digital conversion, sampling, quantization, encoding, and that finally we get the digital readout directly in terms of density, mass per unit volume, kg per meter cube, whatever the units are. So here the important thing is that, very important thing, level has to be maintained constant. That will ensure that volume of the fluid, whatever fluid it is, it is always fixed in this tank. When the volume will be fixed, then the weight force which is measured by the load cells, that will only be dependent on the density of the fluid. Because volume is fixed, small g is fixed, weight force is a function of this density. So that we can calibrate it directly in terms of density. So this is the basic principle of uh, 
density measurement using load cells. So again, I request you to please watch the videos related to proving ring type load cell, column type load cell and uh, the strain gauge, those three videos, okay, so that you understand in a better way. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.